Hey there, Tyler, Theater Design Company. Gonna do a video on the Legrand in-wall enclosure installation. We use these in the field for uh, hide and Samsung One Connect boxes behind frame TVs. We also use them on larger sets to hide Roku's network equipment, things such as uh, Apple TVs and so on. Uh, I would rate this more as an advanced install for a DIY guy and something you probably wanna look into having a pro do. Uh, anyway, step by step here if you decide to do it yourself and let's give you an idea of what it takes to do. Thanks a lot. All right, so this will be step by step the best I can. Uh, we're using a uh, basic uh, demo room wall that's in our showroom to kind of get a few of these things tackled. And uh, we have this in uh, sped up a little bit on the areas that aren't as important. And first thing you do want to do is stud find between your studs. It requires 14.5 inches. Um, super important to make sure you tackle that. It will not fit anything less than 14.5 inches. I'm just marking my studs and pulling the cover plate off from the existing outlet. You can see this install in another video where we did the uh, mid-light hidden in-wall power. So you might want to reference back to that in another YouTube video. And then obviously crucial, you're going to want to uh, place your box above your outlet or in the desired spot you marked out. Uh, you want to place it, level it, mark it out with a pencil. Don't use a Sharpie, don't use a marker, just use a pencil. Uh, make sure it's perfectly level. It does come with a template. We generally just use the enclosure. It seems to do pretty well. And then using our uh, clear bag that we always put in all our jobs below to catch as much dust as we can. So you can see I'm kind of started cutting it, a little bit double check in the mark to place it over again. And then what you can see is I'm taking my level and uh, marking it out and kind of penciling in everything to make sure it's perfect. So using a typical drywall saw, um, pick them up anywhere you want, um, Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, so on. So you can see I'm cutting the opening and out. Another thing I'm doing is I'm actually holding the opening so it doesn't fall and fly over the place. And then I'm throwing the dust and everything in our, our bag there. And then what I'm doing here, you can't really see, but I'm actually cutting the J-Box out. The uh, bottom opening of the Legrand enclosure has an opening for a rough-in box. So I'm just prepping that. And you can just use some little snips. It'll get its plastic. It cuts right out. Super easy. And there you see I've kind of ran my power through, routing the Romex in. Again, this one I'm using the mid-light kit, but if you have an electrician install this, they can use normal power. Um, you could do a, a J-Box, even a metal box, just depending on the application. So installing the enclosure. Just confirming it's fitting well, nice and tight. So now you can see I'm actually screwing my electrical uh, enclosure down into the box, doing the rough-in ring and the power. So now I'm starting to work on the trim bezel. So the trim bezel actually screws into the enclosure. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but the enclosure has four tabs that actually lock into the drywall. 
Um, if you have a larger opening than 14 and a half, you can also use screws and go sideways into the drywall on both sides to lock your enclosure in. So there you can see me uh, mounting the enclosure into the uh, panel itself, trimming into the enclosure, I should say. So the cool thing about this little drawing, it comes with a little optional standoff. So say you had a uh, bunch of equipment, you had a network switch, a Roku, an Apple TV, maybe a cable box. You could uh, put a few of the devices on one level and then use the standoff as a second level. Um, it doesn't have a ton of depth, but a small network switch will easily fit behind it. Um, you can also use it for wire management if you're really picky and want to have it super clean. And it just locks in with some little push tabs. And then last, I'm throwing the uh, panel cover on, the inserts in. So it has a top and a bottom. And then each top and bottom has a, about a 1 inch by 5 inch, maybe 6 inch gap to let wires come out of the top or the bottom. Gives it a nice clean look if you're looking behind the TV. With a frame TV, you can't see it. So technically, you could leave it off. We actually leave it off on certain jobs, uh, especially if it's a Comcast cable box or something in there, along with the one connect where it needs a little extra cooling. And so then you can see here, I'm actually just vacuuming them up and uh, cleaning up and the enclosure is all complete. Hope you liked the video. Hope you helps you out. And again, uh, you can purchase these through our company. There'll be a link below. Um, and there's a million Legrand dealers uh, all over the country that can do these. Have a good day. Good evening.